Hello and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be on forming and solving equations. Okay, so this topic is about seeing a question and solving it just from, you know, things that you already know about shapes and algebra. So here we've got the, our first question. It says the diagram shows a rectangle. All measurements are in centimetres. Find the perimeter of the rectangle. Now, it seems a bit strange when you first look at it because, well, how are we supposed to find the perimeter when they haven't really given us much information, right? Here's the thing. You know that rectangles, in rectangles, opposite sides are equal. Isn't that right? This side has to be equal to this side, isn't it? So, from that knowledge, we can make an equation. That means 2x plus 5 must be equal to 3x minus 2. Do you see, we just formed our own equation from our own knowledge. Now that we've formed that equation, we can try to solve it. And you just do that from the, your... Um, algebra methods if you're a bit struggling with algebra then please watch our other videos on solving equations but i'm just going to solve this well we've got 2x on this side 3x on this side take away 2x from both sides bring all the x's onto one side basically this goes away i'm left with 5 equals and well 3x minus 2x is just 1x which we can write as x and that minus 2 stays there. Finally, plus 2 to both sides. And you're finished. X equals 7. And remember, it said all measurements are in centimetres. So that means X equals 7 centimetres. Now, we're finished with working out what X was. But we have to be careful because that's not the end of the question. The question says... Find the perimeter of the rectangle. Okay. Well, what does perimeter mean? Perimeter just means what is the length of the outside. Okay. It's this plus this plus this plus this. So I'm going to do exactly that. We have x plus 3x minus 2 plus x plus 2x plus 5. If we simplify that, we've got 1x, 2x, we've got 5x now, 2x plus 3x, 5x, plus another 2x, that's 7x. Okay? And then we've also got a minus 2 plus 5, minus 2 plus 5 will give you plus 3. So the perimeter is 7x plus 3, and of course we know what x is, so we can substitute that into our expression. This is 7 times 7, not times x, times 7 plus 3, which is 49 plus 3, which is 52 centimetres. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 52 centimetres. Let's try another question like that. So in this question, we've got a triangle and it says part A, work out the, uh, write down an expression for the perimeter. Okay, perimeter just means all the outside. And they've given us the expressions for the length. So we just add them all together, right? We can't really do much else other than that. So I'm going to add up all of them together and I'm going to simplify it. 5, that's 5x, that's 6x, so 6x's. We've got minus 5, minus 1, minus 6, plus 1, back to minus 5. And that's our part A done. We can't really solve it from the information given. It just wants an expression for the perimeter. And we've got that. Okay. Part B. The perimeter is 31 centimetres. 
work out the value of x. So here they've given us a bit more information. Okay, They said the perimeter is 31. Well, in part A, we just worked out the perimeter is 6x minus 5. So doesn't that mean 6x minus 5 equals 31? Here we've formed an equation, which we just need to solve. Plus 5 to both sides to get rid of this minus 5. I'm left with 6x. That's equal to 31 plus 5, 36. And finally, to get rid of this 6, we're going to divide both sides by 6. This goes away. I'm left with x equals 6. And there you have it. x equals 6. Can you see the pattern? So we're just looking at a question. We're writing down what we know. And we're, and we're forming and solving equations as we go along. Next question. Find the value of x. So this looks like, well, what's going on here? There's not much information they've given us. But you know, or you should know, that these angles, when you add them all together, it should just equal 360 degrees. Angles in a circle add up to 360 degrees. Okay? This square means 90 degrees. So I've got 90 degrees plus this 2x degrees plus this 3x degrees should be equal to 360 degrees. Can you see that the question didn't tell me that it's 360 degrees? I just had to know that from my prior knowledge. Okay, but because I know that, he arrived, formed an equation which I just need to solve. So we simplify this. This is 90 plus 5x equals 360 degrees. And now we need, just need to work out what x is by itself. Minus 90 to both sides. This has gone away. I'm left with 5x equals 360 minus 90. That is 270 degrees. Finally, divide both sides by 5. So x equals 270 over 5 degrees. And if you simplify that, I believe you should get 54 degrees. Okay, so x is 54 degrees. Next question. Here's our final question. Here we've got some words instead of a diagram, which is fine. Um, we just need to form an equation and solve it. So the question says, Adam has some marbles. Um, it doesn't tell us how many, so it just has some. Okay, that's fine. Bradley has twice as many marbles as Adam. Okay, I'm going to pause there. We don't know how many marbles Adam has. So I'm going to say Adam just has X amount of marbles. Because I don't really know how much there is. But then they say Bradley has got twice as many as Adam. So if Adam's got X marbles, that means Bradley has two X marbles. He's got twice as many. Chris has five more marbles than Bradley. So I'm going to say Chris equals, well, what's Bradley's? Bradley's is two X. So Chris must be two X plus five marbles okay can you see that i'm sort of noting down some information as i go along the question okay so whenever you see a question and there's a bit of information there just make a note of it okay in total they have 55 marbles right so what does that mean that means when i add these all together it equals 55 marbles so I'm going to do exactly that. I'm just going to add them all together. We've got x plus 2x plus, finally, that, Chris's marbles, 2x plus 5. And here we've formed an equation, and it's quite simple to solve this equation. So let's go ahead and do that. 
got 1x plus 2x plus 2x. We're left with 5x's and then that plus 5 equals 55. And we can just solve x, solve for x now. Get rid of the plus 5 by minusing 5 to both sides. This goes away. I'm left with 5x equals 55 minus 5, 50. And finally, divide both sides by 5 to get rid of that 5. And I'm left with x equals 10. Is that the end of the question? No, we need to be careful here. We just worked out x equals 10. But the question says, how many marbles does Chris have? And Adam has X marbles. Well, that's fine. Chris is just 2X plus 5 marbles, which is 2 times 10 plus 5 marbles. 20 plus 5. He's got 25 marbles. And there we have it.